masked, all of you. Have you not noticed the proclamation, fellows? Nay, sir. Let me see who you are. Take off those players' masks. Stand back, I say. General Kotelkin. His Imperial Highness, the Tsarovich. Is this the most boring play in the world? Or just in New York? You'd better think of something to praise when we meet the playwright later. That's rather testing. I wonder why he thinks he can write. He does know how to talk. I met him at a dinner when he was here last year, and I was in stitches. He may be witty, but clearly he hasn't learned how to harness it. I'm not sure that's the compliment we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I fetch you a drink of something? We've got time. No, let's just stay here. Are you going on to the party later? Well, Aurora's asked me, so I suppose so. Unless I take you back to your house, no one would know. Or is that a wicked suggestion? That's certainly a tempting one. I don't think too much of this play. Do you? What on earth are we going to say to Mr. Wilde? Would you mind terribly if I didn't come? To the party, I mean. We don't have to stay for the second <laughs> act, if you'd rather not. But is everything all right? Well, Frances had a difficult day. Well, she seemed fine in class. Yes, but as you know, the school is putting on a mother-daughter tea. And as her mother is... I understand. My own mother died when I was very young. I fool myself that we're doing so well, Francis and I, and all of a sudden life catches us out. I'm sorry to burden you. May I propose something? Of course. I'm hardly a substitute, but I'd be glad to accompany Francis to the tea, if it would help. It would help a great deal. And Francis would be delighted. <laughs> Thank you. Now I am twice in your debt. What do you mean? The tennis wager. <laughs> I haven't forgotten. 